Hey, today I'm going to make beer can chicken. And I'm going to try out this new um, fancy beer can chicken holder. Instead of using a beer can, it comes with this container. You pour in about a quarter of a beer and uh, put it on the grill. And you'll get a nice juicy chicken. So we will see. I'm going to use line kugels. Summer Shandy. I'm going to cover the bird with Italian dressing. I like this brand. The um, Shaw's sells it. Tuscan Garden. Um, it's good. It's comparable to Ken's Golden Italian dressing. And there's the chicken. I'm going to rub this garlic pepper herb mixture onto the chicken. And then I'll place it on the um, beer can holder. And then I also bought this temperature probe setup. What's nice is this smaller piece is where the probes plug in and you leave that on the grill. And you plug, uh, you stick one of the probes in the bird and I'm also gonna use one of the probes as a temperature monitor for the smoker's temperature. And then you bring this in the house, you set your temperatures up to what you want to cook the meat to. And um, it'll alert you when it's done. So, pretty cool setup. So I will let you know. Okay, there's the chicken in the smoker. Got it all set up. I'm going to plug in these uh, temperature probes that the temperature monitor came with. This one's going to monitor the temperature inside the grill, and the other one's going to be stuck in the bird. So um, it's going to probably be about two and a half to three hours cooking time. So I'll let you know how it came out. Here's the temperature monitor. The top one is the bird, and the bottom one is the grill temperature. So I'm going to show you inside the house what the uh, remote looks like. Yeah, I haven't set the temperature alarm yet, so I, I believe it's set to 150 degrees, and that's why the alarm is going off. So I'm going to set that. But I um, just wanted to show you the inside of the, the monitor. It's connected via Bluetooth, I believe. It's very cool. So I'll let you know how it works. Okay, so the bird's got to cook to about 180 degrees. And... Um, I set it at 175, so the alarm will go off at 175, and um, so then I can go out and check on it. Um, also, the grill I have set to 350, so if it goes over 350, the alarm will also alert me to go out and, you know, maybe I can dial the smoker down a little bit, but I just set the maximum at 350. I want to keep it around 250 to 300, but um, yeah, so far this is pretty cool. This is a better shot of the smoker I'm using. It's a Pit Boss. I believe it's a 220 or 200 model. Um, there's my transmitter. It's saying it's 280 degrees inside. But this is where you set the temperature on the Pit Boss. I have it set at 300. Uh, and that's about it for now. I'll keep you posted. Okay, the alarm just started going off. I had it set for 160 because I have the probe in the chicken breast. And I believe the ideal temperature is 165, so I just wanted it to alert me when it was 160 so I can come out and check it with another thermometer. Shut this off. This is the first time opening the grill since I put it in, so let's see. good really good so yeah there's the probe that was monitoring the grill temperature and the probe in the breast and it is saying 160 and the grill temperature surprisingly was showing like 400 degrees now it's down to 311 and this is only reading 270 and it was hovering around 300 degrees so I don't you know, the, 
probes located in here and um, reads slightly lower but um, looks perfect so I'm going to double check with the instant read thermometer okay they say to check it at the chicken thigh the thickest part so the chicken thigh is supposed to be about 170 between 170 and 175 so that's perfect now I'll check the uh, chicken breast this is the first time using that remote system I just want to see how accurate it is and it looks dead on 163 is what I'm getting but it's 160 on this so uh, depending where it's plugged in I guess could be slightly different but all right cool